Hey everyone, Denise here from So Limitless and in today's video, I just finished making this jean skirt. You see it right here. So that's what I'm gonna talk about. Let's get started. So first of all, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are returning, if you're new here, then hi, my name is Denise. And I wanna talk about making this denim skirt. Now this is, I think, the same fabric that I used for my denim jacket and I can leave you you know, a little card, whatever, so you can watch that video. I say that because I know I had used some of this fabric, and in fact, this was not the original fabric that I was going to use. I'd forgotten that I had had this, but it's a perfect weight for a skirt. Now, it might be slightly see-through, so, you know, it's one of those things where I would be careful as far as the undergarments the color of the undergarments I would wear when I would wear this. For denim, I would not necessarily want to wear a half slip. I mean, I would, but I don't really want to. Yeah, I would just watch the color of the undergarments that I would wear with that. But the pattern I use is this one. It's called the Sally Jean Skirt by Style Art. And it's one of these things that I had completely forgotten about that I even had. I wanted to make a denim skirt, but I had chosen a couple of other pattern options and I kept thinking that I had something else and I couldn't remember. This is one of those. I bought this years ago and had saved it, but had never printed it out or anything like that. Now, the best thing with this is I could print one size since they're tiled, I believe is what it's called. They're layered. So I was able to print the size that I wanted and then just tape that together and cut it out so I didn't have to trace it. So that's the exception. One of the exceptions that I have for my when I trace patterns and when I don't, if I can just print out one or two sizes, like if I think I might be in between and I need to make some adjustments, then I will just do that, make those adjustments and just cut the pattern out and not bother tracing it at all. So this is one of those patterns that I could just print out the one size, put it together, cut it out and be done with that part of it. This did not take long to put together, but the directions were a little wanting. <laughs> Let me put it that way, at least for me. I mean, I know plenty of other people have made this, this skirt and maybe they didn't have any problems with it. For certain parts of this, for example, for making the fly, fly front here, I did not use these directions that they gave in the pattern. I actually went to my, well, the Angela Wolf skinny jeans pattern. Um, I used the directions from that because that has video. And that's how I, I actually put the fly together because be, making the fly is one of those things, it, you gotta go step by step. And it can be confusing if you're not really sure of what you're doing. And I'm not really sure of what I was doing. I read this. I could not really understand what they were doing because they're very, they don't really have illustrations on their instructions. So it's basically, you're just reading the words. I went to those other instructions and was able to get the fly put together. The rest of it was not really a problem, but uh, it was just the fly construction because you really want that to be, to come out really nicely. And then I was able to go ahead and finish the rest of the skirt together. One of the other things with this, as far as the instructions are concerned, is there is a point, now they do use different terms. Now, style arc is out of New Zealand, I believe. So there are things that are different terms that we don't use here in the US. And so most of them, I knew what they were talking about, but there were a couple of times where they referred to a pattern piece, which all their pattern pieces are labeled. They're labeled as one thing, but in the instruction, they actually call it something else. Like I said, there are a few terms that are a little different, but mo for the most part, um, I knew exactly what they were talking about. That's kind of a minor thing. It's minor for me because I've been sewing for a long time. I think if someone was more of a beginner, that they might be a little bit more frustrated with um, with putting something like this together. I don't know if it's what the recommended um, gill level is. I don't see it here, I, but whatever the case, the pattern turned out nicely. This is the back here. I tried to get everything as even as possible. There were a few things that I did a little bit differently simply because I have made jeans before 
So I gave it more of a jeans look, like some of the double stitching, stitching down this side seam. This is something that you would do on jeans, but they don't tell you to do that here. Now I did it because what it does is it, it's not just decorative, it holds down the seam allowance on that side seam. So I went ahead and did that on both sides of the skirt. So it's really, my construction method was really much more like a jean construction method. I think it's a good pattern. Uh, one of the other things that I will say about the instructions is they tell you to use a twin needle. I don't recommend using a twin needle if you're making something like jeans or uh, a denim skirt because you're gonna have spots where you're going through several layers of denim and that's gonna be really tough on those twin needles. So I don't do that. I would not recommend that. What I do where, like on the front here where you have double stitching is I literally stitch twice. I use a triple stitch and I just do it twice. It works. It's, it looks great. I do the same thing when I'm making jeans. I don't uh, use, I would never use a twin needle with that much denim because it's just too thick. But I do really like the style of the skirt. It did not take long to put together. I actually spent more time trying to figure out the front, the fly section of the skirt. So that's when I had the idea to just go, forget about their instructions, go get some other jean instructions for patterns that I've used before and just put it together. And that worked out. Once I got that done, it took no time at all. Also, oh, one more thing, let me tell you, I used for the pattern now, like I said, this is all white denim. I used a brown, this is just a brown cotton, like a quilting, solid quilting cotton. That's what I used for the pocket lining. And I did that because that will blend in with my skin tone better. You're not going to see pockets. You know, if you use white on the white, it will look fine when it's hanging. But then once you put it on, it's going to be more noticeable. So I used this brown fabric that I had in my stash. It's just a uh, brown quilting cotton. So that's what I use. So that makes the pockets less noticeable but that's it so if you have any questions or comments about anything please leave them down below i will see if i can leave you a link to this skirt pattern if you're interested also if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so please give the video a thumbs up and i thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next video take care guys bye bye